Are you looking to take your website hosting to the next level? Well, there's Hostinger BPS, which is a virtual private server. That means you don't have to share resources like you would on shared hosting. You get your own IP, you get root access, and a whole lot more with it. Now on this video, I'm going to show you the sale that's going on right now and take advantage of the coupon that I have for you. That coupon will be in the description. So let's go jump over to my desktop right now. Okay, this is Hostinger's main website. And if you guys wanna check out BPS, head on over to the hosting tab on the menu and you're going to find BPS hosting. Like I mentioned before, dedicated resources to scale. Um, the difference with BPS and shared hosting is that it's more dedicated to more power and you're not sharing resources. On the plus side, there's shared hosting that has a great price, it's unbeatable. You get access to HPanel, which you get emails and benefits on installing WordPress sites, PHP sites, which makes it really, really easy. On the other hand, you have the BPS that you need a BPS manager, which I will be showing you a demo of how to install one of them to manage the websites inside of the BPS manager. So it's a give or take. If you need easy to use, there's shared hosting. If you need more customization and more root access, well, there's BPS. So a lot of benefits come into BPS. Now there's several plans available and you get a great discount with the plans that you get in the beginning. Plus you get all of this. For example, let's see all the features for these. There's different types of BPS and it's gonna depend on your needs, what you might need. So for example, with BPS one, you get one core, one gigabyte, 20 gigabytes of storage, multi-core Geekbench score. So that's the score that you get with that type of, of resources. And you're gonna say, well, that doesn't sound like a lot, but remember, this is dedicated. Let me hover over to the RAM. Like it says right here, this is the amount of memory given to the server. Resources are guaranteed. So that means it's not, you're not gonna have anything less than what you have right there. In the other case of shared hosting, like I mentioned before, you are sharing those resources and they go up and down. In this case, it won't happen that way. You get bandwidth, you get inos limits, which is way higher than you would with shared hosting. The dedicated IP, like I mentioned before, you get access to IPv4 and IPv6, all right? Um, you get full root access. So if you need more access to something because you are installing a PHP site, which is a little bit more complex and might have different needs, well, you have root access. So that's really good. You got 100 megabytes, megabits of network, IPv4, like I mentioned before, and 24 7, 365 days a year support. Okay. So a lot of things come with this, right? Let me show you something really quickly. So like I mentioned before, root access, dedicated IPv4, IPv6 also. And let me show you the deal that's going on right now. So let's just say that we're selecting BPS2, great price point, limits are good. Let's go ahead and select it, all right? So if I select this, we have these packages. So the more time that you grab this package, the more discount that you're going to have, okay? And what happens if I want to use a coupon? So let me go ahead and remove that coupon. So right now it's $239.52. Let me add my coupon code, which is SASMaster. That, that there, and we get an additional discount. So don't miss out on that coupon code. Like I mentioned before, that coupon will be provided in the description so you get at that additional discount. So enough talk about the deal. Let's actually work with it, okay? So right now I have purchased a BPS plan, the plan two, and I haven't done anything. This is how your panel is going to look and we're gonna start from the beginning to install our BPS, okay? So another way to view the servers it's on the top. So if I click on servers, we're able to view them. But in this case, we are going to start the BPS server plan to the setup. So let me go ahead and select it. There we go. Let's go ahead and start. And this is what you're going to encounter when you buy your BPS on Hostinger. So, okay, we have the BPS location. What does this mean for you? Let's just say the, that my visitors, my clients are from the United Kingdom, from Singapore, from the United States, well, I'm going to select the server that's closest to wherever my clients are going to be, so, or the most population will, are, is going to view it. It might be worldwide, but most of your users are from the United States, or from Singapore, from Hong Kong, from the United Kingdom, from London, etc. all right? So to select the one that fits your needs the best. So for example, if I select Singapore, it's because I want to target that section of the world mostly, okay? So let's just say I have clients from Hong Kong, China, Russia, Australia, Singapore, etc. This would be the best option for me. Okay, so I'll select that. And then we have choose the operating system. So I can have an OS with control panel, which is what I can use for my BPS. 
a plain OS, which is what I'm going to select, and I'll show you why in a bit, or if I'm gonna use this for a game server and I have options for the operating system. Let me show you really quickly all the operating systems that are available. Let me go back, very quickly right here, EPS hosting. Here we go. Just to show you really quickly all the available operating systems that you can install on your VPS. So you have CentOS, Ubuntu, Fedora, Debian, and Zuzi, all right? So you have all of those. So in this case, like I mentioned before, I'll use plain OS because I'm going to install this on server avatar, which is going to be my BPS manager. You can use, for example, cPanel, which is a, which is a great um, BPS manager system. But in this case, I'll use server avatar and I'm going to show you how easy it is to install. Okay. So I'm going to select plain OS. Now be aware and don't worry about it. You can change the operating system later on, but we are, be aware that it's going to reset everything. Okay. So in this case, I, I want to choose a different operating system. I can go ahead and select that there. In the default options, Debian 10 or Ubuntu 10 18.04, I want Ubuntu 20.04. So that's what I want to use and that's why I selected that one. So let's go ahead and click and continue. Let's give our VPS a name. So I'll just say, there we go. Set your VPS host name. I added a dot to it. That's the way it's suggested. Do I want to add the SSH key? In this case, I'm not going to add it. It's optional. That's for further um, customization, okay? So there we go. I named that. And the location, I said Singapore, the operating system, the PPS name, the host name, actually, the root password, and no SSH key. Like I, get, like I mentioned before, you can edit this, and you can also edit this later on. Just be aware, it's going to refresh the whole BPS. Okay, so right now it started the creation process. This will take a couple of time of minutes, I'm guessing from five to 15 minutes. So we're gonna come back. All right, so the server is now installed and it's ready to go. Let me show you around this panel before we actually install it on a BPS manager. Now, if you get lost, remember the menu here on the top, it says servers, that's where your server is going to be and all the servers that you buy for BPS will be there. So this is a quick overview of what I have installed. This is my new IP address. It's my IP, no, no, one, no one has this. It's not a shared IP like it would be on shared hosting. The status is running, the BPS uptime has been one hour. The current OS that I installed was Ubuntu 20.04. Now heads up, I might have to install Ubuntu 18 just in case I'm not able to install it on 20.04. The location that I selected is Singapore and this is my node. I can reboot the BPS or stop the BPS. Reasons my, why you might want to reboot BPS, if it's something is going bad or a PHP site is not working correctly, you might want to reboot it and that might solve it, okay? Nothing is going to get lost. It's just gonna take about, I don't know, depending on how big the, the files you have on the server are, it may take around from five to 15 minutes to reboot, so be aware of that. If you want to completely stop it, that is possible. The BPS overview for the specs that I have, no CPU usage, memory used, disk space, bandwidth, manage BPS, my plan details if I want to upgrade it, and the expiration date for this particular BPS. Now we have BPS access information, again, our, our IP, the root username, which is root, the, the SSH password that I've created. If you need to change it because you forget it or something like that, you can do so by changing the password. Be aware that you have to update it also wherever you install the BPS. And more relevant information, my IV, IPv6 IP also, and the terminal, terminal information. There's also the plan details for this one, so that's what I got on the Hostinger BPS. And we also have settings for this, the root password, this is where I can update it. The DNS resolve, I'm gonna use by default. I can reset the firewall. This might be useful if, for example, where we want to connect our BPS, if it's having trouble, you might want to reset the firewall and that will solve it. SSH configuration, if you want to reset it, change the host name, if you want to update it, if you want to enable disk quota, NFS support, tune tap adapter, and if you need to delete unnecessary logs, okay? That's all the options they have there. The IP address, we saw that already. Emergency mode, SSH key if you need to add it. The server usage specs. So here we have a quick overview of the server usage, just in case you're getting overloads or something like that, you want to analyze it and see why. The snapshots and backups. This is really crucial for any server. For this, you get a free snapshot, for example, most of the other companies at BPS charge you for the snapshots. What is a snapshot? 
Well, let's just say that all the sites that you have installed or everything you have going on on your BPS manager, it's gonna take a snapshot of what's installed, like during that snapshot. So it's like a picture of what's going on and you can restore it in case of an emergency. You can create a snapshot if you like, but it's going to delete the previous one. If you need to add more snapshots, then you'll have to pay additional, okay? So you can upgrade that. The latest actions, so this is what's been going on on the BPS operating system. In case you installed the wrong sir, the system, operating system, you can do it from here. So let's just say that the OS that you installed is not the correct one. Well, we can select the one again here and it'll reinstall it. Be aware that it's going to clean the BPS. So if you have sites installed, that's gonna be removed. So just be aware of that. If you wanna use another OS system or game server, that's also available. And if you want to just reinstall what you have right now, that is possible. So let's go into overview. We are going to need the IP address and we are going to start the installation on server avatar. This is what I am going to use to manage my BPS. So that's something that Hostinger does not that does. This is additional. You can use cPanel, Plesk, and other popular BPS managers. In this case, I am using server avatar. And what I have to do here to add my server and start adding my sites, well, it's at the server first. And in this case, I am not using Amazon Lightspeed, DigitalOcean, or Vulture. I'm using other server providers. So what I have to do here, use my IP address and my root password. So let's connect to the server. Let's name this. So we'll say Hostinger BPS. Since I have several BPS, that way I can locate it. Now I have the option to select the tech that I want to use for this server. So I have Apache, Nginx, and Open Lightspeed. Apache is super stable. I use that for some of my sites. So if my sites are PHP, I'll put them in Apache. And if my sites are WordPress, I'll use Open Lightspeed. That'll make them faster and quicker. But again, most people like to use OLS and some people just like to use Apache. And there's this Nginx, which is also different technology depending on what you want to use it for. In this case, I'll use um, Open Lightspeed. I'll put my IP address. This IP address is from my BPS, okay? And the root password, again, it's from my BPS. So let me put in my password. Let's go ahead and connect now. Again, like I mentioned before, uh, if it's asking me to change the OS, I might have to do so. So let's give it a try. There we go. And yeah, there's a conflict detected on this clean server. So what I'm going to do is head on over to our operating system, the OS, I'm going to reinstall it to Ubuntu minimal, okay? That means there's nothing inside of that OS and that won't be a confliction with, um, what do you call it, with server avatar that I'm going to use for the PPS management. So again, it's changing the OS system. So let's give it a couple of minutes and let's go back to server avatar in a bit. There we go, it's just been reinstalled successfully, 18.04 minimal version, which is a clean server. Let's go back into server avatar. Let's retry, again, same settings. Use open light speed. Let's name this Oops. Hostinger BPS. Let's add our IP address. And yes, we do have the password. Okay, let's connect now. There we go. It's been connected, su connected successfully. And now it's executing the inscription inspection script. So now it's installing server avatar inside of that BPS. So we can create websites using server, server avatar. So let's give it a couple of minutes and wait for that to finish. Okay, the installation has finished installing here on server avatar, okay? So let's go back into the server section here on the left. And here it is, Hostinger BPS. Here's the IP address from our BPS from Hostinger and it's installed. So let's go ahead and check it out so let's check out the server panel let's open it up it's installed open light speed like we've selected here's the information to our server again so two cores the two gigabytes of memory the 40 gigabytes of disk usage and swap memory all right so that's what we have available it's installed now we can work on adding websites so let me show you a quick example of adding a wordpress site on our bps so Let's go into applications. Let's create a site. 
and we're gonna use our domain. If you wanna use a test domain, you can do so here. So let's just name our application test for Hostinger. So that's what we're gonna give it for the name. Primary domain, we are going to create a subdomain just for this test. And what I have to do is point my website's DNS to this IP address, which is this one right here, okay? So let me create one really quickly. I have my domain connected in Cloudflare, so that's what I'm going to use. If you have that in Hostinger, you can, you can use Hostinger DNS to point it. So I'm gonna use the A record, and the root will be the subdomain. So in this case, I'll say Hostinger testing. That's gonna be my domain. See that right there? There it is. And I'm going to point it to the IP address that I have for my BPS. So let's save that, that should be ready to go. And let's go back into server avatar and we said hostinger testing at well, not sasmaster.net. There we go, sasmaster.net, all right? And we're going to install a WordPress site. If you are going to install a PHP site, you would select PHP. So the WordPress title for this will be test for video. The email will just say admin at sasmaster.net. And the username, um, let's use admin. We'll keep it simple, but don't use admin, okay? It's not a good idea. Developer, there we go. And I want to install Lightspeed Cache plugin or not. Show advanced options. So these are options that we have on server avatar. We can select on the current server that we're selecting, yes. The PHP version, do we want to do 7.4 or 8.0? Depends up to you. If you want to change the custom web group, that is possible. There we go, it should be installing WordPress as we speak, okay? So remember, this WordPress site is going to be installed on our Hostinger VPS, all right? So it should be faster than shared hosting and more stable, less fluctuations to that would be what would happen on server avatar, okay? So it's still installing. There we go, application has been deployed successfully. Here's our site. And I haven't installed the SSL, so let's go into SSL certificate. SSL certificates are free on server avatar. If you have a hard time installing the SSL here on server avatar, it's because the, the DNS hasn't propagated yet. In this case, it's ready to go. We're gonna force HTTPS. There we go, and let's go into our domain. So open in a new tab. This is the first time we are loading the WordPress site. So this is our brand new installation of a WordPress site that's hosted on our Hostinger's BPS and it's managed by server avatar. So let's go into our admin page on the site for this particular one. So we said the user username was admin and let me put in the password, let's log in. and we can start editing our WordPress site. Tell me that that wasn't easy, okay? So it's super easy. Buy your Hostinger's BPS, select the OS server, install it on server avatar or cPanel or Plesk or whatever you want to use for your BPS management and start, start installing your sites, your WordPress sites, your PHP sites and take fun, have fun with it. There you go. Well, don't forget to use the coupon code on Hostinger to grab that additional discount. Well, I thank you all for watching and I'll see you on my next videos.